guys welcome back to my channel so today we've got a glossy box unboxing um so if you're not if you're not aware of glossy box i'll just give you a quick rundown of what it's all about so it is a monthly beauty subscription it costs um 10 pounds plus postage which i believe is 3.95 i may be wrong it may be a bit less um, but that's for a rolling contract that you can cancel at any time if you were wanting to get it cheaper you can sign up for a three a six or a 12 month deal what i'll do is i'll pop all the details in the description below there are always um discount codes available with glossy box as well so what i'll do is i'll leave a link and also the discount codes that are current at the moment in the description that way if it was something that you wanted to pick up you have all the information there for you um but yeah let's just crack on and see what we've got inside this month So it always comes with a booklet and it always comes with sort of nice packaging it always has a ribbon and tissue paper and we've just had something fall out ah so this is an advert telling us about the advent calendar telling us that it's available for pre um orders on the 6th of september so that's gone so it's up for pre-orders now and it's saying that it's 70 pounds but we will get it cheaper if we are a subscriber i have ordered pre-ordered mine so i can't wait for it to come and then we have the booklet and the booklet tells us all about the products inside and it always gives us a sneak peek for last month i'm not sure i looked at last month's sneak peek i think i forgot to show you that so i don't actually know anything about what's in this box um but i'll show you next month's sneak peek if you don't want to see if you want to be surprised look away now and that's one of the items you will be getting next month so inside as i say it does give you a rundown of all the products i will not look at that too closely because i want to be surprised so let's dig on in so let's get this ribbon undone okay oh we have food we don't normally have food we normally have five items in this box um uh, it looks like we've got more than five items and we've got food so already winning so oh this is the first item this one obviously doesn't count as an item because we have got i think we've got six products we've got six products this month and we should have five so we've got seven with the chocolate bar so winning winning this is a godiva um belgian dark chocolate heart with a ganache filling not my cup of tea dark chocolate but i do know people that like it so i'll probably pass this one along so that was just a little extra freebie i believe then we've got all these products so let's dive in and this is the first product and um, this is a Carex Strawberry Laces Hand Gel. I have used this one in the past. I used to use it a lot at work. I used to deal with a lot of post. And like if you were touching lots of paper and things. And then obviously you want to eat a snack. It's always good to have something like this on hand to just keep your hands clean so obviously you can go and wash them but if you were say eating a packet of crisps you didn't want to go and wash your hands every time you took a crisp do you know what i mean it takes me about two hours to eat a packet of crisps just saying <laughs> it really does i get so busy at work and you know i can make a sandwich last about three hours so yeah <laughs> but yeah so i have had this before i do like it it's not the most expensive item in the world um it's saying the rrp of this is one pound 55 i think in the past i've bought them on sale for about a pound so yeah say a pound to one pound 75 you can get two flavors so you either get strawberry laces or you get love hearts i'm glad i got the strawberry laces one because i do have the love hearts one i got it recently from i think it was home bargains and it was about a pound um i wasn't that impressed with it it didn't smell that that exciting or that love hearty but i do like the strawberry laces and if you ever see the blue one there's a blue one and i think it's called blue bubblegum 
that one is incredible that one smells amazing so yeah strawberry laces or bubblegum would be my go-to to pick up so i guess maybe that was a freebie or a extra because we normally have um five products and that was sort of number six so let's dive on in and see what else we've got so we've got a perfume next and this is by Mitchell and Peach and it's the number one fine edition eau de parfum it's 15 mils and with it being an eau de parfum it is stronger than an eau de toilette so it should last longer I really like that I'm trying to put my finger on what it smells like I've definitely got some musk in there maybe some woodiness but it's also very sweet and very sort of fruity um let's see so it says who would have thought sweet fennel could smell so good balancing this herb with larkspur and delicate notes of rose lang ylang ylang peony and lavender yeah now they've said it i got the lavender but it's not an overpowering lavender i wouldn't want to put you know just lavender perfume on myself but it's mixed in with other things so you can just now it was only now when i've read it i was like yeah that was the smell but with the other things mixed in it is actually really pleasant um no the lavender's lavender's not pleasant i like it of an evening i like to spray it on my pillow so that it helps me sleep but i don't know i just don't want to be smelling like lavender because i feel like it reminds me of being like a a grandma or something and i'm not old enough for that yet but yeah no that's really really nice i really like that one and that is worth wow they've got their millage wrong because it says the full size RRP is £85, the Deluxe Mini is 17.5ml at 29.75. This isn't 17.5ml, this is 15ml, but you know, it's only 2.5ml, so we're not split hairs. Um, but it says £29.75, but it will be, you know, a little, little bit less than that because it isn't that size, if, if that makes sense. Okay, and this is going to be an amazing product i can just tell um so this is the palmer's deep conditioning protein pack for dry damaged or colored hair this is actually 60 grams so this is actually a really big size this is going to last a few goes even with my hair i mean with my hair a shampoo a conditioner probably lasts about three or four goes like a, a 250 ml conditioner it doesn't last that long at all oh no actually i'm telling fibs the last conditioner i got was 150 mils and it lasted like four goes so um this will last me at least two because this is the sort of deep conditioner after you've conditioned i use a lot to sort of get the knots out with it being wavy it um it takes a lot to get it you know slippery enough to get the knots out without breaking i do worry about breakage as you can see this is my natural hair i don't know why it's gone like this it got wet today in the rain it's gone all like weird like kind of it almost looks matted it's not it's just gone weird but there you go this is definitely something that i will definitely use and let's see it's worth two pound 49 it says you can get it from boots and it's a mask that you leave on for 10 to 20 minutes then rinse off i will definitely use this um i like to give my hair lots of ha hair masks as treats okay so we've got oh i thought this was food but it's not i thought this was tea it isn't tea it has tea in it but it is a exfoliate and glow black tea body scrub that sounds really nice and it's worth 7.95 it's by delicious natural skin food and it is designed to brighten deeply nourish and you can use it from head to toe 
it says basically wet your skin, take a handful of scrub, mash on scrub over your entire body and show extra love to the problem areas you may have. Leave on for two to three minutes, then rinse and then do that two to three times per week. Um, so yeah, this sounds really, really good. I could do with a bit of a scrub on my legs. I do get really dry skin and sometimes eczema on my legs. Um, I just need to start moisturising more, I think. Um, but yeah, I will give this a go and then I will follow it up with some body butter and that should sort me out. So yeah, another great product. Um, so next up, we have a product by May. And it is a banana setting powder. Now, banana setting powder isn't for everyone. It's certainly not for me. If you look the colour of that against my skin, it actually is darker than my under eyes. So <laughs> it would not work for me. I have tried it in the past and it doesn't work. Unless it was a super light one. But this one is very, very yellow because it's banana powder. So this is worth £15 and this is designed for baking under the eyes but as i say it darkens my eyes too much it darkens the under eye too much with me being fairly pale i've got a lot of bronzer on today so this part is my natural color well it's got foundation on it but it's more or less my natural color is sort of this color and that is just darker than my actual normal skin so yeah, it doesn't work for me, but I have heard good things from people that are darker than me. So it's a good product to have if you're into baking and you use banana powder. Um, it says, use a beauty sponge to imply your ultra-fine mineral-based banana powder over the areas you have concealed. Leave it to sit for five minutes, then brush it off. The result, a glowing, bright, flawless complexion. The other thing, the other reason I don't bake, I've just, it's just reminded me, is putting that under your eyes for five minutes. When you've got lines like I've got, under eye lines, um, putting something powdery on there, a lot of it for a long time, is never a good plan. When you've got under eye lines, when you've got dry skin like me, and when you're getting that bit older, I'm now in my late 30s, so it's definitely not something for the older generation to do. So, oh, <laughs> sound old, don't I? I'm the old generation. You know what I'm saying though. You wouldn't recommend it to somebody that is starting to get fine lines and things. It is something for younger people with plump, supple skin that can cope with the drying. Um, but yeah, I will pop that into either a present for somebody or a giveaway or something like that. And... It's not going to get wasted. So this is the final item. Um, it is a Colgate Max White Charcoal Toothpaste. Um, I'm a bit on the fence about having a toothpaste in a beauty box, if I'm honest. Just because it's not that interesting. I do like having body washes. I know some people don't. I do like that, especially when they're high-end, because it's something you know, that's different and almost luxurious. Something I wouldn't normally spend the money on if that makes sense but you know a four pound a four pound toothpaste i am gonna buy toothpaste anyway and but yeah i will i will use it just to sort of you know get my money's worth and use it up but i'm not excited by it however i do feel like um you know it has been a good box this month um Last month was the birthday edition, so that was going to be a bit extra and a bit sort of out there. We had we were spoilt really because we had Huda Beauty, we had other great products. This month isn't a bad month. We've got some good products. Um, I really, really like the perfume. It's always nice to have a new perfume. Um, as I say, the hand sanitizer is something that I have used before and I really, really like it. So I'm glad I've got another and I've got the flavour that I would have would have chosen um not as keen on the love hearts version um the body scrub again it's a nice product and i will use it and i'm looking forward to giving that one a try i do need to exfoliate my legs so it's probably you know good that it's come at this time um i love the um deep condition conditioning treatments those little sachets that we get in quite we get them quite often in beauty boxes it keeps me in hair masks 
Um, these cost like three or four pounds, uh, these sachets, and it just means I don't have to go out and buy one. It is included in the price that I've paid for my box, so it is saving me money by sending me one each month. Uh, well, it's not every month, but you know, I get this and I'll I'll use this. This will take me two two weeks maybe to use it up because I wouldn't use it in every single hair wash, so two or three weeks. And yeah, it just saves me buying one, so I can never grumble at a good hair mask. So all in all, um, I think I've got my money's worth from the products that I will be using anyway because we've got the scrub that I will definitely use. That's worth £7. We've got this mask which um, just dropped the book. The mask is worth £2.50. Again, I would definitely use that. So, I mean, that's nearly my money there on those two products. Um, the hand gel, definitely will use that. Again, that's like one pound one pound fifty that's my full money there on those three products and i would definitely use those um we've got the perfume again i'll use that and that's worth about 20 pounds so it's just really the baking powder and the toothpaste that i'm not impressed with but i will use the toothpaste it's just not that interesting to me um so yeah it's only really this one that's not going to get used but i will pass it along as i say so i do think overall i've definitely got my money's worth and i definitely like the products that i have received um i don't know whether i'm being a bit harsh with the banana powder but i really do not feel like it suits my skin no i'm definitely not look at it i'm definitely not being harsh it is too too dark for me um so yeah I will pass it along but yeah I'm I've, I'm really pleased overall with this box um as I say not as excited as last month it's not a wow box but it's still good value for the money and I can't wait for next month the sneak peek that I showed you at the beginning that is a bit of me that is something that I'm excited to receive and I'm hoping that I get the pink version not the red version I like both so either way I will be happy it's just that the pink one it's a bit different I've got a lot of oranges and reds and peaches at the minute in my collection so it would be nice to have a few more pink shades in there but either way I will be happy um, but yeah that's that's the unboxing for today if you did like this video please do give me a thumbs up it does help my channel and if you haven't already please consider subscribing i do lots of unboxings i do um makeup hauls i do um bargain hauls i'm looking obviously um i haven't done one yet but i'm looking to do some other other exciting things in the near future i am looking to do some um things for Halloween I've got some looks in mind maybe some DIYs things like that um so yeah if if that's a, if that's your type of thing then do please subscribe and I hope to see you in a video again soon bye